Hey guys, Miss Lindsay here. We are actually going to be making a 3D church today. Um, basically, you want to start with a house shape on the left side of your paper, and then it's going to go off onto the right, and then we're going to draw a horizon line in after that. So, But to start off with, we're just going to make the basic shape. So what you want to do is on the left side of your paper, I'm not going to use any rulers or anything, I'm just going to free sketch it. You can use a ruler if you would like. And I'm going to come down on on the left side of my paper. And then I don't want to come down too far because I want to make sure I leave some ground there. And come straight across. And then up. A little bit higher on either side. This side's gonna come back. Now at the top, when you do the roof of your church, it's actually going to come, you wanna kinda of find the center point. And leave some room at the top because if you don't have room at the top, you won't have room to put your steeple. Bring this down. And the same thing on this side. Then you're going to connect these back here with another line that runs parallel to the one that you already have there. So this, the bottom part goes up, the top part comes down. Now we have our basic church shape. Alright guys, now you should have a basic church shape and you are going to make a horizon line that comes out one side and you wanna make sure it comes out the same spot on the other side. Like I said, you can use a ruler for this. Now your windows are gonna be pretty much in line with your horizon line, so you make them right about the same, but they are gonna get smaller as they go back. So, and then you're gonna do like an upside down U shape for the windows. Each one a little bit bigger than the last, not much. Just enough to tell that it's going back off into the distance. All right, once you have finished that, we are going to put in our windows on the front. Now your windows on the front still need to be in line with the ones on the side. So kind of make sure you're doing those in the same area. Make them a little more pointed on the front. At the top. After that, we're going to draw our door. Your door is just going to kind of have a frame around it. So we're going to kind of outline the frame first. It's going to go out. We're going to create this little awning type. And then on the inside of that, we're going to create our, our door. This is the window at the top of the door. And your door is going to sit right underneath it. My door is not touching the ground because I'm actually going to put in a little staircase right here. And it's going to kind of come down to the side and then kind of sit. So we're actually going to end up drawing the same diagonal here. And this will be our railing on 
this side. And sometimes that requires you to go back in and erase lines that you already drew, and that's okay. You don't want lines going through your, what are supposed to be solid. So we have the step over here, so we're going to make the other side of the railing, which is going to come about the same height as the right side and up to the side of the door. Okay. Now we are going to, we'll come back to the finish the steps, but we are going to go up to the top and create our our steeple as soon as I get happy with the top part of my door <laughs> make sure that that's angled down so that it's coming into an angle there all right, and then we're gonna do the steeple part. So we're gonna actually bring it down for a little bit of design on either side. Then we're gonna come across. We're actually gonna cut through the top of our triangle and come down, come down, and cut back through. This creates a shape that you'll have to go back in and erase out those lines again. Don't forget to erase them out or they'll just kind of sit there. Then we're going to come up now this part you want it to be 3D so you're going to have to just like you did with the top of the church you're going to have to bring it back but you want it to sit on the roof, so it's got to come down and then kind of come down into your shape that is already here. And then close that up, get rid of those lines inside again. And then we're going to make a cube on top of that, which is a little easier. Bring the sides up, we're gonna do an upside down, I think it's called a trapezoid, if I remember correctly. Make some little trapezoids on the top. All right, and then for the top part of our steeple, you're going to want to make sure you have enough room to put a little cross at the top, but your steeple is going to come up into a pyramid. Just like that. And then you're going to do your little... You can do two lines and two lines and then fix it if you want to or color it in so that you don't have to erase such small lines out of the middle but that should fit your little cross at the top let's add a little more detail here I'm gonna make some little triangles up here at the top of the steeple where some bells would probably be this is gonna come out a little bit on the side come back down that'll be the one on that side Now we're going to add some detail around the windows that are here. I'm just going to frame them out a little bit.
I'm gonna make these stained glass windows when we get done. Now we're going to move on to the steps and when you do the steps you're going to kind of it's going to go out and down and out and down out down you're going to kind of follow the little slope that you already have there down out down and it's going to come across and each one of these is going to come across Make sure it is running straight across. Okay. And that creates your steps on the front of your church. Then we are going to add some detail to our roof right here. So we're going to make it where it comes out a little bit on the side. Kind of angle it. I actually kind of need to angle it up just a hair. Not much at all. Just a little bit and then connect it up here. Then I'm gonna make another line like underneath it so that it kind of has a, a depth to it. My straight lines are getting not very straight right now. All right. There we go. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So you want to make it where it sticks out a little bit. We're going to go ahead and follow this line that's already there. And then have one that comes out a little higher. Run that line parallel to it. Bring it down to a corner. Then we're going to run it back. where it hangs off the back side of the church a little. Just like that. Now, I'm actually gonna add more of a roof here, I think, too, because I think it needs that. It's not gonna be a very big roof. It is gonna have a little bit of a roof back here. Just like that. Hopefully you can see all of that detail. Now around the bottom we're gonna put some more detail. It's gonna run just this line so it doesn't look so plain around the bottom. All right, around our door, we're actually gonna frame it out even more now. This is actually gonna come down because it's actually peering out from the church. It's not connected to the church or to the to the door. It's not flat. We want to make it three dimensional. And this part will come down back here. This is actually going to come out a little bit further so that you can make a line back to it. It's going to hit at the base of your church though. And then it's going to come over to the side. so that it's 3D there as well. And then you can bring this line out here and go back across there so that you can tell that it's three-dimensional there as well. Then around this window, we're gonna add some detail. We're just gonna kind of make a line that runs parallel with it. And then we're gonna bring it out just a tad on either side. And bring it down. Just like that. Alright, 
add some more detail to the windows. And let's leave that actually. Let's add some more detail up here. I think that's looking pretty good, guys. All right, so for the next step, we're actually gonna add an addition onto the back of the church. Let's fix our lines here since we're about to draw there again. The addition on the back of the church is actually gonna come out about right here underneath the roof. And its roof's gonna end about right here. This would be maybe like a little fellowship hall or something off the back side. Make a little triangle there. Connect these. Bring this line down. Line over. Now it's going to sit right below the horizon line because that's where it needs to be. stairs are going to kind of come down. It's going to need a second side holding it up over here as well. And the handrails on this side are going to come down because there will be stairs here. steps over up over up over up till it ends make our lines across our steps just like we did before Over, down, over, down, over, down. And that'll create your little steps back there as well. All right, we're gonna erase the horizon line out of the side of this building. And then we're gonna put some railing on our porch here. It's like a little awning. Like that should be another little rail on the opposite side as well. It kind of runs behind it. All right, guys. Well, let's add a few more details and then we will um, be done. the top up here let's add another little half oval shape and put some lines in it just to give it a design this one's gonna kind of go off to the side and it's gonna be a little bit smaller because you can't really see it as well because it's going back into the distance And then for the top parts of the windows, we're gonna add some design. Just 
just like that. And then we're going to split this one down the middle. And then do the same thing on the sides of it. Adding some design there. And the same thing on these windows. Let's add a line up here as well. I'm going to double it so that it has some depth to it. Actually, this one should be tilted down just a, just a smidge. So there you have it guys, that is our chapel. You can add anything else you would like to it. Um, totally up to you. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will add some more in fast motion just so you don't have to sit on here much longer. And we will see you next time, bye.